I wanted to show you my ponies. Because they're so cute and you can squeeze their little faces. Squish. Um, I love these things. They're called uh, My Little Pony Fashions. And um, this one, I actually, I customised it because it didn't have its eyes coloured. Like this one doesn't either. But um, this one, like the whole black bit wasn't coloured either. So anyway, I thought it'd be fun to like customise it. So I used my um, my Posca pens for it. I can pull out a Posca pen. Um, because these work on pretty much any surface. So originally I gave this one green eyes and I thought it kind of doesn't match the hair. So then I gave it blue eyes. So, But now I'm kind of thinking, oh, I should have given it pink eyes and made it an albino one. And they've got, it's got like liquid in the head. You can kind of, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's like a, a liquidy goopy bit. Anyway, they're really fun. And I have another one. I got another one in the post because I needed an add-on item for a t-shirt that I bought. And the stupid thing is it didn't even get dispatched with my t-shirt. It got dispatched separately. But I kind of, I was peering through the holes and I, I could like see some orange. So I think it's probably a duplicate, which is sad because these things are quite expensive. But if it's a duplicate, that means I get to customise it. So I'm going to open it and you guys can watch me open it to see, to see what I get because... I wanted to share the experience with you. It's like a... Oh my god, come on, unpeel. Eh. Oh, yay, I got it, okay. It's like a mini a mini opening video. I love these things. They come in like these giant Kinder Egg things. Are you a double? You are. That's a shame. Oh. Have a look at you. You've got kind of lines down your face. I'm not sure if that's showing up. There's like a line down its face. These things are really expensive considering... Um, like the quality they usually like because this one's got like a black mark on its face so i'm kind of gonna say that's a nice little beauty spot um so yeah that's a shame that i got a double but that means i get to customize you <laughs> i think i think green eyes so let me grab a green marker if it's really boring i'll fast forward the video but you can watch me customize my my new little pony so you're going to get green eyes. And I was thinking uh, I'll give it like a, a strip, like down its hair, like a coloured strip. I'm not sure if I'm going to give it pink or if it should get a green strip. So, Because uh, I was actually kind of, I quite like My Little Pony. <laughs> it's it's really cute. Like I, I never understood like the hype surrounding it until I watched Friendship is Magic. And then I was like, oh, this is actually really cute. Although the later seasons, I kind of stopped watching around season five because it went really downhill. I think they got like new producers or something and it just hasn't been as good. So, aha, we got a little green eyeball. I'm going to paint your other one. I was thinking I'm going to give it um, green apples on its little cutie mark. I'm going to paint them green as well. Hooray, we have a coloured pony. That was actually really difficult to uh, to colour that. Sorry if it's like, it's too bright because of my light on. But yeah, it was actually really difficult to paint it because um, every time I tried to paint it, I was accidentally like touching it because it's really hard to hold it because it's so squishy. So I kind of did little pink on the inside of the ears, which that one went a bit weird. I'll touch that up later. And yeah, it gave her a little pink streak and I made her apples green so now they're like the sisters <laughs> so I get my little sister ponies hey yo okay anyway um I was gonna talk to you about these pens because I, I thought it was gonna be a, a duplicate so I was like ha huh, this is a good opportunity to talk about Posca pens because I actually um originally I used them because there were a lot of artists on Instagram I follow who make custom Pokemon cards. So I got them initially to do custom Pokemon cards so I can show you my collection. Most of these I think I've shown pictures of on Instagram, but yeah. Um, the problem with this with these pens is it does get they kind of leave a nasty gloopy kind of look to them. It's quite a rough feeling texture on it. Um so I kind of, I wasn't 100% sure if I like these pens or not. Sometimes it comes all right. Like this, this Vaporeon has a much softer looking feel to it, but it's very difficult to kind of layer the colours down. 
Um, and I know lots of artists use like different mediums for doing this. Like this, these ones were like my early practice ones, my Talon Flame which I think came out all right. Some of them I think came out all right and then some of them have that goopy look to them. Um, with my little Eevee. Um, this one I actually mixed pens because, um, like I said, lots of artists use different pens. So there were some artists that use acrylic paint, uh, some artists that use, um, I think they were called Sharpie paint pens or something. So I got some of those. Uh, I'll just show you the other ones quickly. Um, that I did with the Poscas. So I got some of these other pens as well to try out because they were oil based as opposed to the the water, like this is I did with the, the oil based pens rather than the water soluble Posca ones. And same with that one. And they have a much shinier feel to them and you can, they feel much smoother and they look, I think probably a bit more vibrant. And that one's my favorite. I love that one of the little Rattata. <laughs> probably because I'm biased because I love Rattata, but. Anyway, those were my, my little custom Pokemon cards. Um, but yeah, I'll show you my little pen collection. I'm going to tilt the camera this way. Eh. They're kind of over here because I didn't have anywhere to store them. But um, I've got quite a lot of the Posca ones. And then these Sharpie ones I'll pull out. I actually find the name of them now. They were, yeah, it was just called Sharpie Paint oil-based paint marker but the problem with these I found is when you were using them like it would get really goopy and it was difficult to like blend the colors so yeah I wasn't like 100% keen on these because they were so difficult to use and every time you did a layer you didn't have to wait forever for it to dry um so these pens sort of drove me mad because I hate waiting for things to dry before I can move on and then do something else so yeah and yeah like almost impossible to get in the UK these were really expensive and the seller I got them from no longer like supplies them I guess because they weren't selling very well but I have seen some people on 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 Instagram who do amazing custom Pokemon cards using these pens and I'm like how on earth did you just get it looking so good but anyway I kind of stick with the Posca ones um, for doing my custom cards and also for glass painting as well but I mean the benefit of the Sharpie ones were because they're oil based they're completely like once you've painted it that's it it's stuck on you don't have to worry about it chipping or anything happening to the picture whereas the Posca ones uh, it's such it's like really fragile like the paint job if you just scratch it it will come off um, and also they're water soluble so you get them wet and it will peel straight off so that's kind of the downside of of that, unfortunately. But I was using them for my glass painting for when I did the um, the Disney drawing challenge. I did this this aerial mug um, on glass. It's kind of dirty now. It's got a dirty pencil line on it. Oh, I come off. Yeah, but I didn't know when I did it. I was like, what am I going to do to keep it from scratching? Because I was constantly knocking it. And having to like repaint bits so it's kind of globby up here where it had to get painted over because of the scratch and it was it was really annoying so I bought like eh, put you over there I bought this stuff <laughs> this gigantic spray can of uh, lacquer spray it was quite cheap um but it's kind of oh it was so such a pain to have to spray on so many different layers and then I don't know if you can tell but it kind of went streaky um Okay, it's not really showing up on the camera, but like the paint job won't really streak. You can kind of see it if I tilt it like that. It doesn't have that nice smooth finish to it anymore. So I don't know if maybe I held the paint pot, the spray can too close or what, but that was really disappointing um, that it went so streaky like that. And you can see if I hold it at this angle, you can see where it's, it looks all kind of bobbly. The paint job looks like patchy. So I don't know, that, that really bugged me. So I've done like another one. Um, I did this uh, this other one earlier in the year. I'm gonna be really careful with this one because I haven't sprayed it. So, eh, oh, there you come. It's sort of uh, Hercules and Pegasus. Um, and this one hasn't been sprayed or anything. And I'm sort of, I'm really worried about spraying it because if that goes streaky, there's an awful lot of white there and that will look awful if it goes streaky, so guilt it round um but there is a thing where you can like put these things in the oven and bake them 
and that apparently makes them like waterproof. Uh, but I don't know if that will also make it scratch proof or not because that's the problem with these things they're always getting knocked and stuff so yeah I don't know I'm sort of too too reluctant to try I did this in the summer like right after I did that aerial one and then I was like I don't know if I should spray it or bake it or both and yeah it's sort of they take so long to do because they're so fiddly to paint on because of the way you have to hold it and wait for it to dry and if you turn it the paint all runs down the side so yeah I don't know at the moment I'm just kind of keeping it very safely off to like the side of my uh my computer so it doesn't get like knocked or anything and these pencils um they say when I bought them it said uh, as good as as Prismacolor and then not they're really terrible they don't blend at all so I got like six to try and I'm like well I have no idea what to do with these pencils now because unless you're just doing single block colours, which they're good for single block colours, but if you try and blend anything, it's just, it doesn't work. So, yeah, I kind of, I didn't even finish the picture. I started with these with these pencils because it was just like, it's not working. So, it was like a Miku picture as well. Um, and I ended up switching and doing them in like a different, a different pencil, so... Yeah, oh, that fell out of one of my pots. Go back in there. But, um, yeah, so I was also going to say, I pulled my snow writer out of the bin because I thought uh, maybe you guys would want to see what it looked like. Um, I said in a video how it had gone all solidified and I couldn't use it. So I was going to show you what it looks like just before it gets thrown away. It's kind of gone into the cement. Eh. It's like solidified. It's really a shame because it was nice when it was fresh. I just wish I'd actually used it. I guess it's more valuable to like, eh, goopy. Um, people who do like crafts and cards like regularly, whereas I kind of bought it because it looked fun and then, yeah, didn't last. Whereas that's the good thing about markers. If you buy them, they kind of, they still work. I've got so many pro markers that have barely been used because I went through like an obsessive, I have to collect them all. Um, phase with my Letraset markers, so I have like all of them, and so many of them, I think they're almost brand new, <laughs> but they still work absolutely perfectly fine, so that's like the great thing about markers, is they don't dry out, where crafty stuff dries out, but it's kind of a shame now, because now my crafty box doesn't have, doesn't have my snow writer in it, I'll show you my crafty box, it's really tiny, I also have a bucket of ribbons and stuff as well, um, this is my, my craft box, these in a Thornton's, Thornton's chocolate box. Oh, it was so yummy. Special toffee. I don't have much in here anymore. I've got um, my big bag of buttons. I've got some heart ones as well. I've got blue heart ones that I bought separately and I've got some pink heart ones as well. So my big bag of buttons, yay. And I've got my little pockets of sequins. Yay. And my red and purple sequins, or pink and purple sequins. And I got, my mum got me these, these are like, I've never used them. I considered using them on the last picture I did, a uh, button and everything as, as the Sailor Moon characters. I thought about sticking these on, because I thought they'd be a bit better than the sequins. And in the end I went with the buttons, because of, I don't know, it was fun. It was a pain in the ass to scan in though. I had to scan it before I put the buttons on, and then scan it with the buttons on, because, um... Of course, it's not a flat surface to scan, so it ended up all blurry and stuff, which is why I had to scan it in two halves and then, like, edit the pictures together. Um, but it's fun. I like the texture. And, of course, I've got my little snowflakes in here, and I've got these, uh, these stick-on strip things. If I can, anyway, these kind of colourful stick-on glitter squares they're called so yeah peel and stick i've never actually i don't think i've even opened the packet but they're still kind of sparkly i don't know how i'd use them though i'm not very good at doing like the crafty things to put you all back in the box all nice and nice and tidy oh what else have i got i've got these things they came free with something um they're like little stocking things I'm not sure what on earth you'd use these for. They're kind of stuck on the sellotape. And I think I got them when I ordered the Snow Writer. I think it kind of came with it. And 
yeah, I don't know. Or maybe it, maybe you were supposed to like decorate them with the snow, <laughs> perhaps. And I didn't because I'm only just thinking about that now. But yeah, I don't know what I'll do with those. Oh, maybe if I do a Christmas outfit with Portobello, I'll put like little stockings on and I could paint. Oh, that'd be fun. I'll do that next time if I do a Christmas Portobello picture. I'll paint them and stick them on the picture with her. <laughs> Yay! So yeah, that's my little craft, a little crafty box. I've also got some washi tape as well. I don't have very much it, much of it, but I got um, I bought this mushroom washi tape because I thought that would go really well with like a portobello picture. But I'm not sure like how on earth I'd do I use it for the background or do I make her a little outfit out of it? And then I end up not knowing what to do, so <laughs> it never gets used. I've got um some other others as well. This stuff I have used like once. I've got like a dark blue one, um, and I got this like light spotty spotty. That's not a word. It kind of looks a bit like bubbles, so I thought um, I'd use it for like mermaidy things, but um, I never did. So, <laughs> yeah, that's my my tiny washi tape collection that someday I will use. So, yeah, got my little ponies. And how are your how's your paint job? Are you dried yet? You look kind of dried. If you like bend it too much, it'll crack, unfortunately. But perhaps painting the ears wasn't a great idea. Haha. <laughs> We shall see how, how that goes. I can always touch her up and wash it off because, again, it's water-soluble, so it doesn't have to be like that forever. It's kind of disappointing I got a double, though, because I bought several at Christmas to give to my niece, and I bet she got, like, a different one because I could tell when I, when I shook, like, the container, it was, like, really wobbly, and this one was really wobbly when I got it, and the one I gave to my niece, it didn't rattle inside the, inside the pot. So I don't know if, like, I don't know. Anyway, I'll stop talking about my ponies now, but they're so cute. They're so cute, and you can squish them. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm being silly. But on the plus side, I finished another page of my story yesterday. Last whoops. My ponies all fell off. Out of the way. Out of the way. Yeah, the latest page is done of my story. So this one. And I'm so happy that... Finally, I got to a page that didn't take me forever to complete. I got it done in about an hour and 40 minutes, which is like, it might have been closer to two hours, but it was still like, oh, it's so nice to have one that I could literally just zip through and it just seemed easy and simple, um, as opposed to these ones which have got all the crazy backgrounds and everything. Because so. these other pictures, they were killing me with how long they were taking and I was getting all like frustrated. But yay, this one got done really quickly, so progress. And yeah, so anyway, thanks for watching my vlog where I talk about glass painting and fun stuff. <laughs> thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.